I only used to hear and see refugees on TV. And, you know, on TV, it's, it looks like a movie. But, you know, coming and meeting with them, you know, in the camps was a very, very life-changing experience for me because I, t I changed my attitude towards them. I realized they're just people just like you and me who just happen to find themselves in unfortunate circumstances. A lot of people don't realize how therapeutic art is. Just having an opportunity to express yourself through art, that is very important. These are people who come from different backgrounds, different hard backgrounds. They have uh, harrowing stories to tell. Um, but just that opportunity to you know, express themselves through art, it's, it's actually very therapeutic. And I'm sure they go back home feeling a lot lighter, a lot happier, and, and, and we don't take it for granted. The selection process has been evolving, I would say, because when we started off, uh, we, we relied on, on, on students who were brought to us, any of them, you know. Uh, we really didn't know who was who and all that. So we, 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 when we started off, it was a little difficult because there are some we realized who are on the program, but they really didn't quite fit. How many are they? How many have not been here? The, the program is is not suitable for those who don't who, who don't have a background in art uh, especially because of the time we, we have with them in a year you know we come we, we, we are with them twice seven days and those seven days you know includes travel and all that so so probably like five days. Uh, meaning a total of 10 days in a year. That's very short for art. You know, art, art is, is practice and, and we don't have time to, to actually teach those who don't, those, those who really don't have a background. We are back here. We'll be together for seven days, counting today. Uh, as usual, we are hoping that we'll be able to spend some important time together to do one very important thing. To help improve your okay. My name is uh, Victor Ndula. I am an illustrator, cartoonist, and a comic artist as well. Um, my role in FOR, or Artists for Refugees, is um, lead artist. Uh, this entails um, organizing for the support artists, identifying the um, artists in the camp, um, coming up together with my team a program that uh, meets their, their needs and um, a lot of behind the scene work that um, is able to actualize uh, this program. Well, this program is designed for artists, for those who are already doing art. It is not for those who don't know art. The selection process is um, quite rigorous, I may say. We have a lot of artists in this camp who are very interested in the program. But um, unfortunately, we can only work with a limited number and we are very keen on working with people who are at a particular level in their art. Today is day one. Uh, we just arrived at the training center and uh, the turnout is really huge. There are a lot of uh, participants who have shown up. We've been given a limit of 30. Um, I think more than 30 have shown up about 30, 32, 35, so uh, we'll have to scale that down to 30 at the maximum. But then again, um, it will depend on the skill level that we, we encounter because there's no point of having 30 and 10 of them can't draw at all. So that will depend, we're going to give them a little test. The, the learners have to have a, the attitude, a receptive attitude to learn and the curiosity, so that is also very key. And um, we also need consistent people, people who can make it every day throughout the program so that we don't end up wasting too much time repeating ourselves because someone was absent 
so all that but um, generally we've been getting very good participants and we are expecting no less this time. We are still fighting perceptions. Uh, it takes time for people to understand that art indeed is a livelihood um, um, program. You know, Elias Lemma was part of our project last year and this week we went with him back to, to the camp and he showed us um, a shop that he has opened in one of the most famous hotels in the refugee camps called the Franco Hotel. And he has a small section of the sh in, in, in the hotel where he sells his t-shirts that he has produced himself uh, using a lot of the knowledge that we teach in the class. We are now in Ethiopia community. Before, a long time ago, we are many. Now the Ethiopia numbers, the refugee numbers are reduced. Now we have become mixed. My name is Elias Lama Vlacho. Uh, I'm an Ethiopian. I came from my country, 2002. I'm living here uh, for the last 15 years. I was a journalist, also um, I was working as the cartoonist for my newspaper. Uh, it's, it was a weekly newspaper, I was working for a news weekly newspaper. Because of my profession, uh, I got a problem from the government side, and then therefore that case is forced me to flee from my country. That's why uh, I become a refugee. Mostly I'm working. I'm an artist in the community, here in the, the refugee camp. I'm working the t-shirt printing and then painting also. Uh, sometimes uh, if, I, if I cannot get even a, a job by artwork, I will join to uh, NGOs. I'm working now, I'm just trying to sell my artwork in the Franco Hotel. The hotel owner, he's the one who allowed for me. Then he has given me small space. A small room, and then I just selling now there. When I was at home, I did not get any customer, and then there now, at least I'm selling now. Even I have some t-shirts there, and then painting also. The hotel visitors, when they're coming for lunch, and then invitations, I think the hotel customers, they're the one. My name is Hassan Saadi. I am now in the state of Nassau. I am 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 in the state of Nassau. And when I was young, my father and sees me that I'm doing more artwork since my neighbor was doing that work and the neighbor name was Amin Amir, who is now a great arts professional, digital work. Since most of the Somali people, a majority of the Somali people are Muslims, the most of them 
as a Muslim, they believe that this drawing is a very big problem. So they dislike drawings, especially when you're drawing animals or human. So they, they mostly give us uh, more problems. That's, that's the reasons why I fled from the Somali country. That when you draw something, people they they misunderstand that they are using magic because they, they they never believe that someone can draw the other person the way it is everything using the the principles everything. So most of the people they they don't like uh, these drawings. My name is Samal Tafari. I am 37 years old. I come from Eritrea. Yeah, the way I'm left from Eritrea, my husband they arrest, uh, and uh, after that he went left from Eritrea. When he is left from Eritrea, after him they arrest me. That's why I'm afraid, and uh, I left with him, and uh, I left two, two children. We are coming with three children. I have a small business, just like salon. I have some customers. I have a bit uh, challenge because I'm working in my house. And we are family. We have seven family with my husband. I have five children. And uh, when the children is at home, when I get customer, it is. Uh, a big problem for me because my house is very small and uh, even my children they have stress thank you for this project because uh, they help me to development of myself to, to take care of myself my children and uh, just I get confidence because I think in I have job and it is big thing for me. I think the artist can be supported by being provided one with materials. That's a big need for them. Um, if somebody asks for an artwork, they would like it done on professional materials. So the artists are willing, they have the skill and the talent, but they need materials. I think these artists need a space to work. Um, Art is formed by a community, so they need a community and a place where they know is a center of their own. They can always come there, they can work, they can um, have a, a point of meeting, they can uh, invite visitors to their store, and uh, all this will complete what we started out two or three years ago. They need a space, and uh, if that is made possible, it will go a long way towards achieving our goal. So our main aim for, for, for the year is, is to hold an exhibition uh, where the ones who, who have work which we feel is good enough to exhibit and prob hopefully to sell, then we, we, take, we take to Nairobi. But the ultimate goal for all of them, even the weak ones, even the ones who don't end up exhibiting anything, is making sure that each one of them has made a step forward. These artists are doing an amazing job. I believe in them a lot. My team believes in them. And uh, we thank the agencies, um, UNHCR, for supporting this program and DRC for effectively implementing it. We still have a way to go in terms of more and more and more support uh, beyond what you're doing now. And given this, in a very short while, this artist will be able to self-sustain and uh, prove that uh, it is true, art is, is a good skill. Uh, but beyond that, it's a livelihood. Um, a program that uh, can turn around the lives of these artists. They no longer need to be asking to be given, but they will be providing and becoming important members of this community.